I'll take your little take your mother. Oh, are we gonna do this? We gonna fight right now? We're gonna fight right now? We're gonna do this right now? Right here, right now? Connor. It's too late to be scared. Morning, guys. Just sitting here nice and early before the family wakes up. It's about six o'clock. Um, just full of gratitude because I've sat here in this chair looking out that window <clears throat> at this time of day, peace, quiet, quiet time, getting my day started. I've sat in this chair for the last 16 months, every single morning before the family got up the quiet that I feel now, the peace that I feel now, feels so much different. 75 days to go get after it. God bless. I'll see you at the top. And uh, I never really doubted it as much as you guys did. I had uh, a lot more, I had a lot more reassurances behind the scenes than you guys know about. Um, I just knew it was gonna take time. And I preach exactly what I had to go through and I had my moments that I didn't do so well with it, but the hard work eventually pays off. You just have to still be standing there when it does. And it's not that people don't do the right things. It's that they don't do the right things for long enough. See, it's not about you and it's not about your timeline. It's not about what you want. Sometimes it's just about doing what you need to do with faith, with and through the enthusiasm, constantly moving forward. That's where the beauty is. Get after it today. See you at the top. Guess who's back? The Mac is back. June 29th, Las Vegas. I'm coming for you, Chandler. Forge Army Assemble. You're about to witness a proper demolition. After the fight, I just was kind of like, ah, oh, my bad, man. You know, I wanted to do better. I um, wanted to make it uh, a little bit uh, more exciting of a finish. But, um, you know, he came around to me and just told me to keep my head up and just keep doing exactly what I'm doing because, you know, I'm going to be a big star. And to hear that from him was super uh, awesome. And, you know, he's a guy that I respect so much. And if anybody knows who um, the stars are going to be, it's, it's him. And so, you know, that just means a lot to me. And um, I think it said a lot uh, about him as a person, you know, to come up and give me some reassurance like that, it means a lot. He's such a savage dog. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is one of the sickest knockouts I've ever seen in my life. Max Holloway, you f***ing legend. Oh my god, lad, he's getting 600 grand. Now 
they say you shouldn't make decisions when your emotions are too swayed one way or the other. But with everything I try to preach, I feel like it would be a shame to let this opportunity go to waste. Social media is filled with a lot of highlights, a lot of highlights. But this is a moment of me presenting myself at my lowest. But I'm not done. I'm very, very disappointed in myself. And although my coaches would tell me they don't want to hear it, I'm very, very sorry. I would always want to give out the same amount of energy that the people that support me pour into me. And in this sport, most of the time that only happens with a win. It sucks to be on the losing end, but I've been on the other side plenty of times. So like I said, this opportunity for me to share the same type of messages I try to preach to other people. Even with me feeling as low as I do right now, I'll still keep my chin up, chest up, all right? Because things aren't ever as good as they seem and they're never as bad as they seem, all right? The sun's gonna rise tomorrow and I'm gonna keep working hard. Now this is a good time for me to test my work ethic, all right? So I gotta find the good within the bad, try to find the silver lining. It's very hard right now, I'm not gonna lie to you. When are we going to see the fight with you and Sugar? I'm ready for tonight. <laughs> I don't know. I, whenever a champion wants to fight, let's go fight. You know, I'm ready. I'm always training. I'm healthy and ready to go. I was ready this moment seven years. Now is the perfect time. Let's go, Sugar. Let's go, man. Love the celebration, the Cavi Lane celebration. What was the inspiration behind that? Well, well, of course, you know, we all know his memes go viral. We all love his style, and he usually do that when somebody does something stupid or something stupid happen. Jamal been running his mouth the entire week, talking about his box and talk about everything. So when I knock him out, I just did the same thing. Like that's all we got. 